I find Jesus' first miracle in Cana fascinating. Unlike most modern weddings in North America, marriages in ancient Israel were celebrated as week-long feasts. This required a significant commitment of time and energy and finances by the family and the friends. The family was responsible for serving large amounts of food and wine to the guests. Now, from the description in John 2, we know that Jesus' mother Mary was probably a friend or relative of the bride or the bridegroom. Jesus was most likely invited to the feast with the disciples. On the third day of the wedding, the servers note that they are out of wine. Now, this was not just simply embarrassing to the hosts, but a crisis of honor for the family, not to mention an unexpected financial expense. Mary turns to her son for help. Jesus' response is firm. Woman, what does this have to do with us? My hour has not yet come. Yet Mary does not blink. She tells the servant to do whatever Jesus commands. Jesus tells the servants to fill six stone ceremonial jars with water. Without any outward display of power, Jesus instructs the servants to draw some water from the jars and take it to the head waiter. Now somewhere between the faucet and the pallet, a miracle happens. Common water becomes choice wine. One of the most amazing things about Jesus' first miracle is that he bypasses the restrictions of time. When I spent time with a vintner in Napa Valley researching Scouting the Divine, I learned that producing wine takes years, beginning with prepping the soil, then growing and pruning the vines, harvesting the grapes, collecting the juice, and finally fermentation. When it comes to making great wine, time is your friend. Yet Jesus didn't need to wait. It's an intriguing and powerful reminder that he was who he said he was, the Son of God.